Horror comedy spoofs are back in theaters, and I have a new movie to talk about with you guys called The Blackening. Is this film worth your time, and should you be checking it out in the theaters? Well, stick around, and let's discuss it. <laughs> Seven black friends go away for the weekend and end up trapped in a cabin with a killer who has a vendetta. The film stars Antoinette Robertson, Dwayne Perkins, Sinqua Walls, Grace Byers, X Mayo, and Melvin Gregg, and many more, and was directed by Tim Story, and he is known for the Fantastic Four film, Barber Shop, both Think Like a Man films, Tom and Jerry, Shaft, and both Ride Along films. The Blackening was a film that really wasn't that high on my list, but I did check it out on opening night after watching a back-to-back -back screening after The Flash, and there weren't that many people there, unfortunately, because of The Flash playing this past weekend. And I have to say that this film, I really was expecting it to be more comedy than horror, and that's exactly what this film was. You have seven friends that meet up in this cabin. They all know each other from college, and they're playing cards, and they're just kind of messing around, drinking, doing drugs, that sort of thing. And they stumble upon this game called The Blackening, which really reminded me of like a dark game of Jumanji. They answer all these questions, lots of questions towards black culture and horror movies. You have this guy that goes on the screen. He looks like he's a crazed guy from like Saul. They answer all these questions, and if they don't answer these questions correctly, they're going to die. They're then presented with a choice to actually sacrifice one of their own, and to do so, they need to figure out who is the blackest, and in turn, they select this guy named Clifton after he says that he voted for Donald Trump twice. And you do see that in the trailer where he does actually say that line. And you do have some comedy in here where the characters, they're bouncing off of one another. You do have some horror moments, although I'll say the horror moments in here, especially involving weapons, it's really pretty much basically one weapon throughout the entire film. It can be kind of goofy because the characters, they're really just trying to figure out what they should do. It feels very much like a scary movie, but not exactly over the top with that. I definitely felt like they could have really amped up the horror in this. I really felt like the film was a little bit too silly at points, and I definitely felt like there could have been a lot more jokes in the film. We don't really get to learn a lot about the characters. We know that one character, she does come from a half white half black family we know that another character her boyfriend cheated on her and he is here and she's trying to get back together with him and one of her friends doesn't like that but we don't know a ton about these characters they do provide decent comedy throughout this film and I was laughing throughout this film but I found the story to be very silly especially when we have a decision of who wants to stay in the house and who wants to go outside and actually face these killers and take their chances if they're going to get killed or not when they actually go out there in the outside world here trying to track down these killers there is some suspenseful kind of moments but there's also some silly moments at the same time and one of my other negatives about this film is it doesn't have enough kills and I don't think there's a lot of creative things that really happen in the horror aspect of this film I felt like this film had some missed opportunities that it really could have been granted in this film to make it a better film and make it feel like it stands out I feel like it definitely nails that premise in black culture and black trivia and lots of things that blacks can really relate to and of course I can't relate to every little thing that is actually referenced in here but I think with a black cast here really bouncing ideas off of each other and having the Juneteenth thing and a lot of other things that are going on that really blacks can really relate to here I think they can really have a good time with this and even people that are non-black as well I think they can really laugh at some of the comedy that actually is thrown at the audience here. The killers themselves I was a little bit disappointed in because their mask it really reminded me of like a B flick, the collector, solish kind of vibes. Also, when the actual killer actually is on screen and he challenges them to this game, The Blackening, the way that he talks, it's not very menacing. It feels very silly and not necessarily out of place, but it definitely doesn't make you feel like you're in a horror movie. It feels like you're just watching kind of a lower budget horror comedy film and it really took me out in moments when he would actually try to challenge them to this game I just didn't feel like it was really scary I didn't really feel like it really was much of a horror movie I just was something to really laugh out throughout the film and also the final reveal and the twist that is involved with this film I'm half and half on it because on one end I understand why that said person is involved 
in wanting to do what they're trying to do. But the second part of their story, I'm just like, well, that's your fault. You shouldn't have done that. That's not these characters' fault. My overall score for this film, I would give it a two and a half out of five. I think there are some elements here that I did like about the film. I like that it does have a strong sense of comedy. Characters aren't really developed fully, and the horror is definitely on the back burner. If you're looking for some really good kills and some horror, this is not the movie for you. I think that if you can really get certain references that they're trying to actually show, especially for black culture and pop culture and the different things that they're including in this film, I think that you can have a good time with this film. I'm not sure if this is really much a film that you really need to rush out to the theater and see. I think it's more a streaming movie, but I definitely think that it's at least an enjoyable one-time watch at best I don't see myself really revisiting this film as I said it was kind of a goofy film even though I did have some laughs in the theater but thank you guys for watching this review let me know in the comments what do you think about the blackening did you like it did you hate it was it just kind of meh and if you haven't seen it is it a film that you're going to check out thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next review